I'm Andrew Stoner. I've just joined the board of China Dairy Corporation as an independent director. Um, I've uh, sought this role and I'm very pleased to have this role because I believe China Dairy Corporation can do great things, um, not only for China but also for Australia and particularly our farmers. Look, um, my experience uh, aligns, I think, pretty much perfectly with uh, China Dairy Corporation's plans. Um, this goes back in my family, four generations in the dairy industry. Uh, I've worked in dairy factories myself. Uh, I've been a regional based uh, politician and in fact leader of the National Party for nearly 12 years uh, and represented the dairy industry in New South Wales. Uh, in addition to that, um, particularly since I've left politics, uh, I'm very much involved in the China-Australia business space. Um, leveraging off the free trade agreement. Um, so I think uh, the experience I've had in and out of politics um, will be very useful in my role uh, on the board of CDC. China Dairy Corporation's business model um, is quite different to anything we have in the dairy industry in Aus Australia. Effectively, they outsource uh, the cows. They, they, they uh, lease out high quality uh, genetic material cows, um, which are going to be very productive to farmers. They also guarantee um, access to the market for the milk that comes from those cows. Um, so this is a model where everyone's happy. Um, the farmers are making money. They're effectively leasing the cows, but they have an income to do it. China Dairy Corporation um, uh, makes money and distributes that to its, uh, its shareholders um, by way of dividends and also reinvests into the industry. In addition, China Dairy Corporation is doing some quite innovative things uh, in terms of modified fodder uh, for the cows to produce particular types of milk. So as I say, this is, this is quite unique to Australia and I can see some great opportunities for joint ventures uh, and involvement by CDC in the Australian dairy industry. I think uh, China Dairy Corporation is set for a lot of success, uh, particularly in China. Um, a couple of issues affecting the dairy market in China. Uh, firstly, the um, Australia-China Free Trade Agreement um, opens up uh, opportunities for our exports into China. Secondly, the uh, central government's moved away from the one-child policy to now two or more children. So the demand for uh, high-quality milk uh, is going to continue to grow. And thirdly, just the general demand for protein in uh, China is continuing to grow year on year. So all the opportunities are there, the planets align, and I think China Dairy Corporation has got a unique and innovative business model to meet that need.